So this is still some of our uh, cement that we're still gonna uh, transport. So that's still some ballast and some gravel there. Well, the kids are still swimming, as you can see. And the, the boat has taken all, all of the cement, sand, and the gravel on this boat. And now they're loading up, getting the balance right for taking all of this stuff over to the school. It's taken quite a bit of arranging. <laughs> the kids, the kids probably getting in the way. I have noticed that in the Philippines, they don't, uh, they don't give kids a hard time. Even though, you know, as Westerners, foreigners, we probably look at it and say kids shouldn't be near any work being done. But everybody gets on fine. The kids loaded all of this stuff onto the truck. Look at that, that Wally. <laughs> Come on, let's not get in the way, okay? Let them do their work. It's a very, very good Apart from the outriggers, which, which you can see are made of bamboo, uh, these boats are made of plywood. Plywood and some, some actual timber, yes, but plywood. And then they're heavily coated with the epoxy, two-part epoxy, which makes them waterproof. And these, as you can see, the the curved, the curved bamboo obviously doesn't come like that. The bamboo pretty well grows straight. And what they do is they they put them in a former and heat them, and they get them to the regular shape, which is an accepted uh, shape. Although on the smaller the smaller boats, you can see over there, look. It's more of an extreme, more of a customized, almost S, S uh, shape there. But all of the, all of the uh, outriggers are all tied together with the plastic rope, string, whatever you want to call that. So it doesn't rot, so it doesn't have, they don't have nails holding that together, which can rust. That's quite a feat to carry that stuff. All of that, uh, the sand, the gravel, cement, was all carried down there and put onto the boat. It's quite a feat of, of balancing, believe me. Now it looks like they're ready to leave. They're casting off now. Kids are back at their 
haunt by the boat there. I have no idea whose boat that is. People don't seem to fret strike so much. Okay. Looks like maybe they'll take some passengers. Not quite sure. Yes, I think so. Here's a family that's going out to the island. Shamans waiting. Hi. Ah, no, the family's not going. The water is still pretty shallow, they'll have to pull that out until they get the boat turned around. There's a man there looking, he's still... Actually, that's a fishing boat right there, and all of that green is the carefully folded nets. Of course, they might might possibly be for for seaweed, which they they harvest out there. One of the islands that we went to, I think it was Sag, and pretty well that's um, one of the that's the major industry there. Ah, they just gave him a ride out to his boat and he's coming in now it looks like for the rest of the family. <laughs> okay, he's coming into shore now. I don't quite know what this arrangement is here. Look. Now that's, if I remember rightly, it's about uh, 20 minutes, maybe a little more, 20 minute trip out to the island where they're dropping off that wood. And for the time being, that's all that we have for them. There's the family are going to get on that boat there. Actually, it's, it's really not easy. It's not easy getting on those boats from the shore. You see, even that lady there, look, as a customer she is to doing that, it's a uh, a helping hand there. Yep, there we go. Now the little guy is going to go 
get him out of the way and they'll give a helping hand to the little boy. There you go. It's still a balancing act. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're trying to get him to wave. Hey. Ah, there they go. <laughs> okay, this is, um, has turned out to be a little glimpse of, of life on an island. Oh, and I don't know who that strange woman is there. Excuse me. Excuse me, who are you? Where did you get that boat? Where did you get that boat? <laughs> what? Beth, try not to sink that boat, will you? <laughs> and there's the family underway. Okay, well, this is a foreigner in the Philippines. And down at the jetty, as you can see. Bye for now.